Okay, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to construct various different array diagrams for mirror reflections. So these are the learner's outcome. So some prior knowledge, uh, you need to understand the angle of reflected light ray is equal to the angle of incidence. And the image form through reflection in the mirror is of equal distance from the object to the mirror. This is the first type. Okay, what is the task? Is that given if you are given object and incident ray, uh, draw the reflected rays and locate the uh, image form in the mirror. So first, draw the normal lines that uh, the incident ray strikes the mirror. Measure the angle of incidence. So always remember that angle of incidence is the angle between the normal and the incident ray. Okay, apply the law of reflections. Angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection and draw the reflected rays. Measure and draw the reflected rays. Then extend the reflected rays back and try to find the intersection points within the mirror. So this will be the intersection point and this is where the image is located. Okay, second type of question. The task is to, if you are given the object and the position of an observer, draw the incident rays and the reflected rays and locate the image in the mirror. Okay, so you have the object here, you have the observer here, so you try to draw the incident ray. But you find that it's quite difficult to draw the incident ray. First, it strikes the mirror because you do not know where it actually strikes so that it will be reflected to the eye. So it's, that's quite difficult. So actually a shortcut is to apply to draw the uh, image of the object first before you try to draw the incident ray. So how do we do that? First draw the normal line from the object to the mirror. Okay, And we know that um, the image of the object will always be equidistant from the mirror. So we locate the image first. So this is where the image will be. Okay, Take note that the equidistance is from here Okay, and this distance is the same as this distance. Okay, it is not from here, it's because the reflecting surface is this surface. Okay, so this is the image. And draw the reflected rays from the image to the observer, meaning this. Okay, but do take note that you need to draw a dotted lines that's over here. Okay, because this is the virtual ray. The actual ray is uh, over here. And then after that, once you locate where the uh, the reflected light ray would actually intersect with the mirror, you can draw the incident ray. Okay, so this is actually how you can complete and uh, draw the re incident ray, the reflected ray, and locate the image in the mirror. Okay, if need be, to find what is the angle of incidence, so you just only need to draw the normal line along the uh, mirror and try to find the angle of incidence or the angle of infraction. Sometimes the object may be placed beyond the mirror. So um, the object is over here and the mirror is slightly off. But actually everything is same as before. What you need to do in addition to solve this or to construct the ray diagram is to extend the mirror surface uh, to locate the image. So you just draw a dotted line as if that the mirror is extended and then everything is per normal, you draw a normal line and the image distance is still equidistant from the image from the mirror to the object distance. So this would be the object. Okay, so this would still be equidistant. And the rest you just draw as per normal. Okay, another type of questions or tasks will be to determine the area where the observer can or cannot see the image in the mirror. So in this case, there are no observer here. You are determined uh, where, if the observer is placed, you can see the image or you can't see the image of the object. So uh, first thing, extend the mirror surface to locate the image and draw the normal line to the mirror. And this is where the uh, image will be. Again, it is equidistant to the uh, mirror on the object, on the normal line. Then draw the reflected rays to the edge, to in this case to the edge of the mirror. So draw one and draw the other. 
and draw the incident rays to the refracted rays. Okay, and establish the zones or the areas where the image can be seen or cannot be seen. And uh, which one cannot be seen is uh, marked by this uh, red area, okay, where you cannot see the image. And this is where uh, a zone where you can see the image in the mirror. Okay, another frequent type of question is to determine whether a particular observer can or cannot see the uh, image in the mirror. Okay, you can actually use the previous method uh, to try to establish a zone and then determine where a uh, where all the uh, observer can or cannot see. Okay, you can do that, but actually a quicker way is to do this. Is same thing, extend the mirror surface, locate the image, and this time round you just try to draw the reflected rays to the observers. Okay, so you draw the Reflected rays, and from the reflected rays, you can actually establish whether uh, each of the observer can or cannot see. How do we determine it? Okay, is that we find that if whenever there's a light ray that actually strike, uh, that actually goes to observer, and the light ray actually doesn't touch the actual mirror surface, like this one, this one, and this one, they actually doesn't touch the mirror surface. It means that actually the observer over here, this tree cannot see the image because there actually there isn't any actual mirror surface for the light ray to be reflected, to be possible to be reflected from the object to the, uh, there isn't any light ray uh, possible to be reflected because the light ray must strike at here mirror, which there's actually no mirror in order to be reflected over here. So that means that this tree cannot actually see the, uh, the image uh, that's existing in the mirror itself. So the only one is the green one. Okay, where actually there's actual mirror surface for the light ray to strike come from here and strike to the mirror and reach over here. So I hope that uh, through this uh, small lesson you can actually uh, construct majority of the reflection questions.